Uh, let's like start off and welcome everybody to the start of the 2018 football season. Um, I, I tell you, it's, a, it's an exciting day. It's one that uh, is definitely well anticipated. Uh, I don't know if I've ever been more excited about a, a team, uh, a camp, uh, you know, a, the, the perspective of getting a chance to get on this field with this group of young men is, is one that uh, uh, is definitely very special. Um, the work that has gone in through the summer, the off season, you know, all the the recruiting, the, the new faces that are that are showing up, um, it is definitely a great time to be a Memphis Tiger. Uh, you know, compliments to Coach Storms and, and his staff, uh, the work they put in uh, with our football team uh, in, in this off season and their preparation uh, for the beginning of a football camp is incredible. Uh, when you see our guys, we're a bigger football team, uh, we're a faster football team. Uh, it's uh, the, the the weight room numbers, the strength and development that they've been able what they've been able to accomplish has been incredible um, you know you see in our staff uh, you know come together here throughout this this off season you know some new faces some new ideas um, you know a, some a new energy uh, has been has been uh, incredible I, I can tell you that uh, you, you know everybody associated with our program is uh, is fired up to get on the field tomorrow and uh, it, it's like I said it's definitely a a great day for uh, for Memphis Tiger football and uh, we know we've got a, a lot of work that's in front of us we know that uh, you know that there's going to be plenty of challenges uh, that are going to arise, but uh, I know this football team is ready. Um, you know, we have a young team. It's one that uh, only it, we only have eight seniors uh, you know, on the roster, uh, but it's also an experienced team. We're returning 16 starters, uh, some guys that we're getting back, uh, Jackson Dillon, uh, Sam Kraft, uh, who have started many games here in their, in their careers. Um, you know, we've also been able to add a couple new faces that um, that are going to be here starting camp. We got uh, Nigel Brandon, uh, an offensive lineman from uh, from Oklahoma City, uh, and then Cortez Love, a, a defensive defensive end, outside linebacker uh, here from uh, from from Memphis, that are also joining our program today. Uh, that we're that we're very very excited about. Uh, we'll have a couple other ad uh, additions possibly throughout camp, but uh, uh, it, like I said. Said. It's a uh, it's a wonderful day. I appreciate everybody taking the time to be here, and uh, you were looking forward to the beginning of fall camp. Uh, any questions? Coach, talk about the fact that you got uh, eight people on the national watch list. I think it's eight. It could be nine. Uh, a little bit about what that means for your program as far as the image it has nationally, and also when you try to go out and look at your kids. Well, I mean, I think it's a it's a wonderful t uh, testimony for or testament to the young men that uh, have. Put themselves in that position, you know, because that to be recognized at, at a national scale for the top awards uh, uh, that this game has to offer individually, uh, you know, there, there's a lot of a lot of work and uh, and performance uh, you know based uh, um, experience that that puts you in that level. But on the same time, it is still just a watch list. You for to to you have to go out there and prove yourself that you belong at that level. You have to go out there and and uh, you know, you know, there's certain guys. You know, I think T.J. Carter is a true sophomore. That's one of the one of the uh, young men that are that are being recognized well you know now people know exactly who he is and there is there is going to be a target there are going to be a, a lot of uh, uh, eyes watching everything that they do so uh, the expectation that they have and the responsibility is is that much greater as well but uh, it is a compliment to our program it's a compliment to the to the personnel and I think it is also a great example to to future Tigers to see that I mean I can put myself in a position at Memphis and to be showcased and to be recognized at, at an elite level. Coach, you, you had a consensus All-American and Anthony last year. Now you've got a chance for the first time in this program's history to have it back-to-back -back with Pollock. Um, talk about his development. Talk about just the way you guys, I mean, what his talent forces you guys to do in terms of imagination, getting guys, you know, well, you know, I think Tony, you know, he's had a he's had a great uh, you know first couple of years, and you know he's made a a, a dynamic impact in our return game. Uh, last year, you saw his role in the offense expand. I think he was our second leading receiver, uh, you know, and you know, and he will be our leading receiver returning uh, into into this year's uh, uh, football team. So uh, the thing that has been great for me is to see his 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 personal fundamental development you you see you know his his freshman year he was kind of thrown into the fire to to say when Sam Kraft went down hey, that was you know he was forced into a lot of action and you know did a good job uh, we you know Tony's such a versatile player that he does you know so many you know so many things at you know pretty dang good but for 
for what we want to see in his progression is is to become a master at all those techniques and fundamentals. And uh, you know, I think you'll see him all over the field. Um, you know, he is definitely a, a known commodity uh, in the return game. So it'll be interesting to see how people how people try to uh, uh, neutralize him. But uh, he had a phenomenal off season and couldn't be more proud of where he's at. I mean, it's like I said, it's a it's a great it's a great compliment that people are speaking highly of our program, that people recognize the, the progression that is that has occurred here. Um, but on the same hand, we haven't we haven't done anything yet. I mean, this this season, uh, you know, we'll we'll have a, a great start to to what on our path to, to success, um, you know, starts tomorrow in tomorrow's first practice, and we have to improve every day. We've got to we've got to you know obviously put in the work uh, uh, that's necessary to be successful. But you know, you look back over the last couple of years, and there's there's been there's been some great victories. Um, but you know, you you sometimes you forget about the the challenges and how close some of those victories were, and then you know some of the times we came up short. Just to, you know how how important those those small little details are for us to to continue to push to the next. Level. Coach, speaking of that, you know, you, went, you got the 10 wins and you had two losses at the end of the year. Some of the players in the spring said, we got to get back to winning. You know, they talk about, we, they, we want to win bowl games now. And you pick go back to another bowl, we should. Talk about that as far as having the, the hunger to not just get in there, but to get that belt to win the game. Yeah, you know, that's, that's something that's, that pushes us every day just to be the best version of ourselves. And, you know, um, you look at, at the last season and to, to be able to have a, a really good year, um, but to come up a little bit short. Uh, is, is that our driving factor to, uh, to be successful? No. But it, it definitely, it, it, we are going to learn from the experiences that we've had. Uh, this is a different football team. This is a new team. There's going to be uh, new faces that have to emerge as the leaders. Uh, you know, like I mentioned, the, the age that, uh, that we have. But our guys are, are absolutely passionate about the opportunity. Um, you know, I use a, the example of Anthony Miller, who, who is you know, no longer on this team. He's, he's playing tonight. He's going to get his new experience. Uh, but when we came in uh, you know, day one, you know, Anthony was a fourth leading receiver on the previous team. He had to, he had to emerge as a go-to guy. We've got a football team now of you know, 110 you know, student athletes that are, that are stepping foot on campus today that all want more that all want a bigger role, a bigger responsibility. And so they have to earn it. We have to earn it as a team. And, uh, and collectively, I, I feel great about where we are, but I mean, there's a lot of work to be done. On that note, would you rather have a team like you did last year where you have an established quarterback, a bigger senior class, but a lot of guys stepping into the new starting roles, or what you have this year, don't have an established quarterback yet, but have a lot of returning starters, but a small senior? You know, it's a that's a great question, but it's um, when you when you look back at at different years in, in experience that you have as a coach, years that set up like this one, um, I, I think that's why I have such a uh, uh, an excitement coming into this camp because there are some question marks, there are some unknowns. Um, it was very similar to to my first year here as and in our first year as a staff that you know people didn't know fully what to expect. We have experienced players. You mentioned the, you know, the, the eight guys that are on, on a word watch list. That, I'm, I'm happy we have that, trust me. But on the flip side, who's going to be the go-to? Who's, who's going to be the guy that uh, uh, when, times, when times are tough that's going to step up and, and perform at, at the elite level? Um, and you know, having some uncertainty, I love competition. There's, there are guys that started on our football team last year that are going to have a tough time keeping their position moving forward because we've recruited at a high level. Uh, guys, have, guys are uh, – have worked relentlessly to put themselves in a good position, and man, that's what you want as a coach. So I, I would I would lean to, to years like this because of some of the question marks that are out there. You know, there's a there's a lot of guys that have uh, that have grown, and uh, you know, I, I think. You know, I, I hate really pointing out just uh, you know, too many individuals because of just the overall growth we've seen our team. But a guy that I think had an incredible summer uh, was Tim Hart. You know, he was uh, uh, to see what he's done with his body. Uh, you know, he's he is totally bought in to the to to being an all uh, an all around player. You know, he, what he did with his nutrition and and overall development uh, has been has been pretty incredible to, to see and to watch. Um, 
you know, as you sit there, you know, there's a couple young guys that I think that uh, you're J.J. Russell, uh, uh, you know, another linebacker that uh, has really come on. Um, you know, our defensive line is going to be O'Brien Goodson, you know, John Tate. You know, those guys uh, uh, are really pushing to, to – they they understand the uh, the expectation of what is needed from them, uh, but they've they've totally bought into what we're trying to accomplish. And uh, you know uh, I feel I feel good about that group. And uh, you know it's going to be it's going to be fun to watch. Mike, what, like, what are the what are the good things that can come out of quarterback competition, and what are some of the things that can can be difficult or, or problematic? Huh, the good things is you, you get you, you see competition, and uh, you know the the cream's going to rise to the top. Um, you know I think that's something that. Uh, when you go in, if, if there was if there was only one guy and nothing, and nobody was there to push him, and nobody was there to uh, uh, to help him elevate his game, then I think there's could be some real problems. But uh, it's it's also seeing uh, what I like uh, about the quarterback room is there there is only one guy that's going to step on the field, uh, you know, on, on any given play, and so they have to be able to work together. There has to be a camaraderie to to help each other, uh, you know, grow while while competing against each other, um, you know. A lot of people ask, you know, when are we going to find out? When are you going to make the decision on, on starting quarterback? Well, when the decision is made, when it, I, it's not necessarily in my hands. It's it's in these 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 you know quarterbacks that are they're going to come out and compete every single day. Uh, I'm excited about seeing the growth that they've had since the ones that were here in spring. I'm, I'm excited about seeing where they where they've gone from the end of April to what they're going to do on the practice field tomorrow. They're going to be judged in everything that they that they go out and and work to accomplish and. And uh, you know they've had great summers, and you know I'm excited about about what they're going to show. Impact on receivers. Say again. Impact on receivers when you've got a quarterback competition going on. Uh, you know it's for receivers. You know my uh, my biggest thing with them is you got to you got to maximize every opportunity. So it doesn't matter who's throwing it to you. It doesn't matter you know where the ball's at. You know you're only going to get so many chances. And especially with our receiver group, it's a it is a deep group. It's one that uh, you know everybody's looking to to emerge as a, as you know a leading candidate, uh, you know as a top playmaker. So they've got to go out there. They've got to make sure that they take care of themselves first and then, you know, when the ball's in there, they got to make sure that they uh, uh, regardless of where it is or who threw it that, that they're making the play. With this defense, um, are you more pleased with how well you guys did with, turn, with gaining more turnovers last year, or do you want to see this defense improve it more things such as you know maybe limiting some of the passing yards? Yeah, yeah. I think you look back to, to uh, you know last season. It was a uh, it was a challenge. We we had uh, I think it was six starters that uh, that went down, and you know we had to force some young guys. Uh, you know, into early action, maybe maybe before they were they were truly ready. But uh, the thing that I love is, you know, Coach Ball and our, our defensive staff, and they, they put our guys in a position to be successful. We knew that we had a, a, a top notch offense, and you know, we needed we needed the ball. We needed to get more possessions, and so that's something that we took a great deal of pride in. You know, over the last two years, I think we're first uh, first or second in the country in, in creating takeaways. That's something that has to continue here. But uh, you know, I feel I feel good about the growth of, of what we. Been able to do do defensively the personnel that we have, and uh, you know I expect them to be uh, uh, an improved unit uh, in every area. Just like I expect our offense to come out and uh, you know, do the exact same. That's what we want to do in every facet of our program. Last spring, uh, shortly after uh, Hardaway was named the coach, we showed up to practice at home. Any uh, update or luck on getting Odin to travel to the field? Well, we're uh, we're still we're still still working some things. I I, I tell you. We're, we might have that might have to be an incentive to, to being able to play another uh, another game at the end of the season. I think we're going to try to work on that one. You go, can't can't just give it all to him at the beginning, right? Coach, just running game, does that help you delay your decision Say that one more time. Yes, uh, you know, really, really, that doesn't have a whole lot of effect, uh, you know, on that on the quarterback uh, decision. But that is something that we know has to be a strength for us. And uh, you know, you return four starting offensive linemen, uh, you know, a trio of running backs that I think you know can be elite, all elite players. Um, so that has to that has to be a focal point of our offense. It's something that you know we've been able to do you know pretty well in our first two years. But we're we're looking to like I said in, in every in every uh, you know, facet of our program continue to grow. And uh, I think that uh, that that can be a strength and can allow us uh, you know to to be able to rely on that when times get hard. Is that how, much, how much different is this media day than the one two years ago? I know you don't you haven't learned at all, but is this one is it getting easier to be a head coach of a top twenty five program? Well, well, there's a lot more people now. <laughs> and so that's a that's a good thing. And uh, I, I tell you, you know, I'm I'm very comfortable 
and, and the role. I'm very comfortable in uh, the opportunity. I'm grateful for it. Every day that I come to work, I, I truly, uh, I, I think to myself, just, man, how fortunate I am to be able to lead this program, this group of guys in this community. That's what makes it special. And uh, to see the excitement, to see the buzz of, of what we're doing, um, you know, it's, uh, there's been a lot of work that's went into it, but uh, it also it also puts a, a great expectation for what we're doing here in the future. And so, like I said, I'm, getting, I'm very proud. Getting Jackson and Sam back after basically a couple of years away, what do you hope for them? What, what are you seeing from them in the off season? What can you really, realistically expect? Yeah, you know, I mean, those guys they've had a uh, there's been some some real uh, some some real trials uh, over the last couple of years that they've had to go through just in a sense of you know physical injuries and and you know having to overcome adversity um, but I, I don't know if I'm, I could be more proud of two individuals because they their commitment to this program and and what we're doing here uh, shows a lot of trust in our coaching staff shows a lot of uh, belief in their teammates um, I, all I want for them to do is to go out there and play to the absolute best of their abilities to enjoy this game to enjoy the you know every snap that they get to have because we know that they're not guaranteed and uh, you know they're they're going to be wonderful leaders for us and uh, we're definitely glad to have them back. Even, even on the sidelines, they've been able to lead. Oh no question. I mean, they, they their their presence is something that's uh, that this this football team it, it feeds off of, and uh, you know we're we're excited about their their senior leadership. No, I mean, you, once again, yeah, it's a it's a it's a compliment to be recognized. You know, I don't think any coach uh, would sit there and hope to be picked last. I mean, that's what you, it, it shows that people respect what we've been able to do. But uh, you know, our football team also understands you know the 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 importance of what it takes to get there. And uh, you know, we we've played in a lot of close games or a lot of close games last season uh, to get to that point. So uh, it's going to begin tomorrow, and uh, you know, I know our guys are going to be up to the challenge. You know, you want to you want to see develop uh, development at every position. Um, you know, a, a, a continuity within within each position group that uh, you know, and and both sides of the ball, and including special teams, that you, that you're starting to see eleven playing as one. And if, if we can see that growth, um, you know, we see guys elevating in the level of their play and their leadership, uh, is, that's going to be big. And now if, if, we, if we leave training camp and uh, um, you know, those question marks are still there, then, then you know, it would be a little concerning with this a couple of weeks before, uh, before kickoff. But uh, you know, that's what I, I want to see. I want to see who's going who's gonna to step up. And uh, you know, when, when you get in, the, in kind of the dog days of camp, I mean, who's going to help push this team uh, to, to being able to achieve at a high level? <laughs> uh, you know th this this community is incredible, and uh, it is it is one that is very engaging. It's one that uh, when you when you walk down the streets of Memphis and uh, you know, you see people wearing that uh, that that Memphis logo and, and yelling out "Go Tigers!" Um, you know just the support because we know we know the importance of what this program has to offer. It does put us on a national on a national scale. We do we do represent everybody in the community by with how we play and and uh, uh, you know obviously what we do, but. Man, it's also a great city to live in. I mean, it's you know, people ask me all the time, you know, if you describe Memphis, well, it's culture and community. Uh, you go in the spring, I mean, you know, pick from from March until the middle of summer, we're going to have a festival every weekend. The thing that's exciting for me is now with the success of our football team and our program, now we get to have seven festivals in the fall. People get to come together to Tiger Lane and to and to to embrace something that is that is going to represent us on all different levels. And so uh, I take pride in that. I want to be involved as a community. I want to I want to uh, you know be able to give back and and help uh, you know, elevate our, our city to a to a level that's uh, that's at the highest maybe it's ever been. Well, I, I think there's been a culture that's been established, um, but you can't get complacent. And you know, the, I tell you, Coach Lorig has done an incredible job leading that group. Um, you know, the mindset of, of our of our top players and the understanding that I mean, we are gonna that, that is an area that we have to be that we have to win in. We have to be successful if we want to get to where we want to go. Um, but that's 
I, I do believe that's been established, but you can't you can't let complacency creep in. You've got to you've got to go out there and uh, in off season study. I know I know Coach Lorg has, has really pushed to uh, at the areas where we maybe have not performed at the level that we wanted to, and uh, you know we're we're looking to continue to elevate. I, I don't, and it's something that uh, you know we have to control today. Uh, anybody that's been around this program, you know, we talk a lot about the Memphis climb. Yes, we want to achieve at the highest level possible, but at the end of the day, it takes a step that's right in front of us for us to be able to get there. If we get our our vision too focused on the uh, on the top of the mountain, you know, we could slip well before we ever get close to that. And uh, you know, that's why that's why tonight's meeting, uh, you know, just starting in uh, tomorrow morning with uh, with walkthroughs and tomorrow afternoon's practice, every one of them matter. Every one of them count. And so uh, we've got to do all the steps. That that are necessary to, to be able to, to go one and zero here in a few weeks, and if we do that, then uh, we'll, we'll be well on our way to to hopefully success. Uh, it, it's that's going to be a critical a critical part of our football team, and uh, you know obviously we have four returning starters. Um, but you, you know the th thing about the offensive line, you have to have five guys that truly go out there and are are one unit and one one group. And so uh, I like the leadership that we have. We do have three seniors. Three of our eight seniors are on the, uh, up front on the line, and so I think that can be a strength. But uh, you know if. If they play to the level that they're capable of, I think that's going to make everybody around them better. It's going to make our running game better. It's going to make our passing game better. Um, and, you know, I, I feel very confident where we are. But it's going to be fun to see who's going to be that fifth guy that's going to emerge to, to be a part of that, that first unit.